Hi, I'm Milk, and these are my legendary looks. You're gonna cream yourself. Today's look is Gangura Glam. For this look, you'll need a lay. Let's get laid, baby. A Nomi Malone dress. You don't even know me? The most disgusting wig that's ever been created. The Hannah Montana wig. Most importantly, you'll need stickers! Stickers! <laughs> Hi! Ganguro is a type of Japanese makeup styling and was a big departure from the classic Japanese ideal of beauty. It moves in the direction of sort of California Valley Girl and so it's gonna be really tan with really highlighted white eyes. She's really tan. Tan. All right. Gonna take my 7W, which is usually my contour color. Here we go. Really tan. I've done this look a couple different ways. I, I've done a Ganguro look, and then I've also done just a tan mom circa 1994 look. The first time I did the Ganguro look was for a kinky kawaii party. I don't know if this will make it past the editing block, but for the kinky portion of it, I added a bukkake feature. So it just looked like I had milk drizzled all over my face. Oh, I look so tan, look how tan I look. Krylon TV paint stick in 070, which is the white, going over the eye region, because that is where they highlight the most. I have not yet been to Japan. I really would love to go eventually. Let's see. Araga, oh no. Cut. Arigato gozaimasu. Mata kite kudasai, which means um, like please come again or something like that. <laughs> Not in that way. Nihongo wakaranai, which means I don't understand Japanese. I don't know why you would know how to say that if you didn't understand it, but. This is how I keep my clown white. It's all broken apart in a plastic bag, so it looks like some sort of illegal substance, but. It's just my clown white. Probably fish queens think clown white should be illegal. <laughs> oh, there we go, look at that! You are not going to look natural with this makeup. This is very, very much a caricature of, let's say, a valley girl. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> so that's dust in here. Um, it's anthrax. Start creating those contours in the cheek. This is the back of a toothpaste thing. No matter how square your face is, you can change the shape of it. For a birthday party this past weekend, I painted my friend's face and he is, he's actually like, like a dude, like he has like a dude face. And I turned him into the most glamorous, Prettier than I've ever painted myself, actually, which is sad. I'm just gonna go in and start carving out the eye. Like that. Hopefully I'll draw them evenly, not making any promises. She's Malibu Princess Barbie. I just applied a little white above to add a little highlight, and then I'm gonna go in with some powder and then powder right over that. White powder. Cocaine. No. This may be a Monet. Pretty from afar, but far from pretty. So I'm going to bring my line all the way in to, you'll see. I'm going in from the corner of the eye and bringing it down to meet where I just drew this other line. And so what this does is it really creates sort of a cat effect to it. And it makes it seem like your tear duct could be right there. It just, I don't know, it just works. You can see that because of my under eye creases, the black has shifted. <laughs> so we're gonna have to go in and just smoke the fucker out. See, right there. That's why I need Botox, I guess. I don't know, God, stop bothering me. Same thing on the other side. Of course, of course on that side I fucked it up. Damn it. Those are some 
dark under eyes. Yes! What? Huh? Yeah, every night before bed, I eat a pint of Ben & Jerry's. Every night. I often enjoy ice cream with, I mean, milk with Oreos. Sometimes I just have that for breakfast. I'm not what you would call the healthiest queen out there. But I was thinking about getting into CrossFit. Mmm. All right. Take this white jumbo pencil, line the waterline. You actually like pull open your eye and where you have that pink spot, you just draw it on there. That's usually where people get their eye infections from. Deep down, this is not the most beautiful thing to be doing to your skin, but the final look is sickening, no? This is some inexpensive bronzer that has a terrible shine to it. So I'm gonna go in with this. I'm sure this is not the way to use bronzer, and I, I know that, but don't, don't be mad at me, okay? I'm going to start applying my lip. Wait. I'm using Max Candy Yum Yum. Mm. Cause nothing says fake tans like a nice frosted pink lip. Um, that's it for the lip. That's it, quick lip. What I do is I first apply the cream and I just apply it right to the beard or to the mustache. Now with this look, I'm gonna do a little bit of a Charlie Chaplin glitter stash. Charlie Chaplin, tan. The way I apply glitter to my mustache is actually spirit gum. Don't be afraid of spirit gum on hair, especially if it's as short as mustache hair. It may sting a little bit, and it will give some noxious smell. Dip my Q-tip into the spirit gum. Go into the tube of glitter and start, start applying. Yay, oh my god. 60s Malibu princess. Now I'm going to go apply the look! Bye! So this is the final look for Ganguro Glam. I have the stickers on the face. I have the nails on. If you're not wearing nails, you're not doing drag nails. And this beautiful, just Naomi Malone goddess dress. And don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents up there. <laughs> so kawaii.